Hi everyone, so me and Lee are gonna just do our makeup and go over the question and answers that you asked me from my Instagram earlier and this is my first YouTube video so please be kind and <laughs> be nice to us. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, um, first question. So how do you keep your skin so good? <laughs> well, I you think actually that, do have really nice skin. I personally don't think I have that good skin but I do drink a lot of water and I do eat quite well so I do think that's a massive part because sometimes like I do forget to take my makeup off at night and I wake up the next morning and I'm like oh my gosh and I do have like a spot there and he's like no you don't but I do <laughs> that, so. but I think so, that's such a good tip as well like always take your makeup off at night yeah that is a good tip like that is definitely a good tip because I sometimes forget and I wake up and like my face is like so dry and so disgusting so and I also also always moisturize that's one thing like I always do that's a must in my yeah. my go definitely um next question is What's your day in the life like? <laughs> My day in my life. I literally um busy bee. <laughs> I feel busy. Like recently I have literally just been focusing on myself recently and taking like time out to like just do what I really need to do because I have been feeling like really unwell recently and I think it's because I've just been doing too much at once. So I generally get up whenever I really want and make my breakfast and yeah, just do whatever I feel like that day and that's sometimes like doing nothing, like just sitting chill and watching movies. Or... I think you should also film like a day in the life. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. When I, when life gets busier, a hundred percent because I Interesting. think. Interesting. Like even like going to a shoot or something like that. Because Definitely, I do... that'd be so good to see. Yeah. Cause I haven't even been to shoot yet. Have you not? No. Oh my god, because we did that like mini shoot. Yeah. In here. in here, and that was good. Did you like that? That was really good. I enjoyed that so much. But I, I want to see like in action at a shoot. Yeah. Like that would be so fun to see that at the end. The yeah. life of a shoot of fire. And I'm not gonna lie because I would like to do like a day of, day of a shoot like at Bella de Gatsa because mm -hmm. I do think that I have like a host of best shoots. The last one looked really good. Oh yeah, the, the, got yeah, the cake the, and everything. Oh yeah, that was so that cute. Was really nice, actually, I really like that. Okay, so the next one. What motivated you to work, um, to want to work for yourself? To be honest, <laughs> that is so funny because like see when I was 16 I used to work for this hairdressers and honestly I remember that <laughs> <laughs> it was so I bad I remember you done my highlights there I remember oh, that yeah. was so good and so you cut my hair that yeah to be honest I used to be really good at hairdressing and I really liked it but I just didn't get the vibe like I felt like I had to work super hard for like £3.50 an hour and I was just like that's not life for me like mm -hmm. I could work faster like, I can work at different places for much more money so then yeah, I just started thinking, what can I do? And I just started working for myself, and I've never looked back. Look where you're at. I'm sorry, but like, I would never work for someone else unless no. it was like some, like, do you know, if it was like a PR job or like, yeah. you know, or if it was like, say, like for like a VIP hostess job or like, you know, like a pool party or something like that. I would definitely work for like just for like a couple of days or whatever. But nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that nine to five job. It's not for you anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it's for it anymore. Yeah. You're probably just know. used to now working for yourself, so. Yeah, like I just do everything like I'm on time and everything like that, so yeah. nothing's ever rushed. Definitely. Right, I'm going to go ask another question. Yeah. So. I don't even know how to do makeup, by the way. I just <laughs> shove stuff all <laughs> over my face and it's just like hope for the best. What's one product you couldn't live without? <laughs> So I don't know if that's like makeup wise or just in general probably. Uh, moisturizer or like coconut oil, like oh, they're my that. they're my favourite things. Like I like to coconut oil my whole body like five times a day. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that's probably how I have good skin. <laughs> I probably is actually. Yeah, like I just lather my Coconut stuff. oil is actually oil. like proven to be really good for your skin and yeah. hair. And hair, yeah. I've hair. Yeah, when we sleep with yeah. <laughs> and hair, it's so good for it. It makes it so fucking healthy. So I always use, yeah, coconut oil. That's coconut what oil that's and moisturiser. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your proudest achievement? Oh, honestly. Proudest achievement? I don't know, I think probably there's so many. I know that's so weird, but like there is actually so many I would say well looking from the out in, mm -hmm. I would say Bella Regatza. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you think Like obviously there's 
probably a lot more personal things yeah, to do as you're well. Right, you're right. But from like outside looking in, you've done like it's blown up so well, and you have done really well with that. So I just feel like Bella, that's I'm not I'm not at where I want to be just now. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm proud, obviously. Like don't get me wrong, but I'm just like. I just worked so hard to get to that point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I'm like. I mean, Bella Gats are just like a stepping stone to like something that I want to be in the future. Like Bella Gats are just minor, I think. Like, but to get me to Bella Gats, I had to change so much. Yeah, but like, that's so good mean? to have like, that mindset, like an open mindset, yeah. want to develop onwards. I think Bella Gats is doing really well, but if you want to open and expand, then yeah, that I is love, a really good stepping stone to do. So I want to have like fashion shows with Bella Gats. I want to do like runways. I want to have like a girls' nights. Yeah. I want to do like have girls DJ, the girl DJs and like their underwear and stuff like that. I want it just to be so like super amazing and like yeah I just and i think you will definitely get there like yeah like where you are now i know i'm having one employee and it's and been one year like like it's so good that's crazy i never ever thought it would be like this i just thought it would be like a small business and mm -hmm. i'm like wow it's <laughs> weird okay it's so strange um so one girl said this that it's not a question but you're a boss your band and hope you go far how that's nice really is that sweet, actually, actually she's nice. really lovely she's always been nice since like day one actually so it's really really sweet so yeah thank you you're really nice i love people that are so kind like i know that. <laughs> you don't have to be in your actually or like you've always stood i love her and i really really appreciate that very much one more is what advice would you give to your younger self or young girls in general <sighs> mm. That's a good one, actually. I know, that is a good one. You need That's to think about that because <laughs> there's so many things I would say to my younger self, like, chill out, like, you don't need to be so, like, rushed. Yeah. Like, I always thought to myself when I was younger, like, you need to party. And, like, I was always, like, like some of the craziest people. And I really... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who are you? <laughs> like, have I ever come across them? Like, I'm literally like, oh, I get flashbacks. Of like, like, oh. And it's annoying so like, because some people still think they're, you're that person. Yeah, and they're thinks. like, oh, she's so party. I'm like, oh. I mean, actually, I would never, like, literally party out in Edinburgh if, like, mm -mm. I was paid. Literally, let alone. To be honest, I really hate Edinburgh now. So, but that was because my younger self. So I would say to my younger self, don't do that. Because I ruined it for myself. So yeah. if that's that's one thing i would say like i don't regret it because obviously it's made me who i am but like i'm like oh my god why did you want to party so much yeah like what was the need i mean so. i think when you're young you just that is it you are young so you don't think as much but it's good i say i would say like i'm glad i've done it when i was younger so mm -hmm. that now i'm older and i've already done it all so like, well not all but yeah like we partied a lot like we were yeah. like out of ways at like 14 yeah. 15 like <laughs> tina park 16 like i we love tina park i wish that would come back just for maybe one year <laughs> Let's play. Like, please, just please. a bit of nostalgia. Literally, please, Tina Park, come that back. Was so, so That's just ridiculous. They're so strict in this country. It's no. mental. The last year we went, it was the last year that I finished, though. I know. So, so we were lucky. At least we got <laughs> to experience it once. And, like, my whole suitcase is still there, probably. <laughs> Same. I love it. I Rest love so peace, much suitcase. And it's sad because I took, like, my friend's t shirt and it was, like, such a nice t shirt and uh, I lost it there and. I still think to myself when like, oh, like that t-shirt is there, like I like that t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, I, like, I remember I left, um, you know the chairs that you sit in, like the fold ones? Yeah, the cabin I chairs. had loads of them and I took them and I left them, but oh, so sad. Yeah, sad things. <laughs> 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 okay, um, another quick, well, I think we kind of have answered this, but I mean, if there is more you could add to it, it's no. what are your goals in the next few years? So what do you really want to hope to do in the next few years? Yeah, definitely. Goals that can be small as well. I, I don't do small. <laughs> I know. You're like, well, small. <laughs> but even like setting small goals for yourself daily, I, I think that's a really good thing mentally I know. to do as well. Probably eating like like nice foods and like maybe starting the gym because you're just gonna start the yeah, gym. Yeah, we could do that together, that'd be really good. Yeah. I, think you, so. I really want to start yoga. <laughs> ah, like hot yoga would be amazing. Yeah, it's meant I to be really that. good for you as well. Yeah, like to meditate your mind and soul. Me and Jen used to do hot yoga, like, we were, like, oh, <laughs> that was so, so fun. it was so meditative, like, after, like, I would sleep for, like, 12 hours. I know, it's so meant nice. to be so, but it's meant to be really hard. Mm, I don't know. Like, like you know, if you're not, like 50 year old, yeah, so if you're like, not maybe flexible, I suppose. I, I mean, we're young. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga's quite good, I think. Yeah, definitely, it's something to look at. Yeah, but I do want to start the gym. Mm-hmm. 
that's a really good goal as well because even when you go to the gym i was saying earlier like endorphins get released and yeah you do feel you feel really well and obviously when you feel better about yourself your mentality about like life is, life better. is better yeah in general i feel like i don't cope well in the like um winter because it's so dark fast so i'm like oh don't I'm like, i hate really winter. Have energy in the winter so i always hibernate in the winter and then the yeah. summer like i go work really hard i'm like i think that it's like stop yeah just when you come from a really cold country it's just like absolutely <sighs> ridiculous so bad especially in winter and i hate when it's dark nights and especially like because I don't drive right now, yeah. I need to walk everywhere and like it's quite scary at night like walking about by yourself so I, I just don't go out, I'm just like in my house all the I time. I thought you could get a pepper <laughs> I was actually thinking about that as well. No, oh. we're just joking. Yeah. <laughs> What's your fake tan routine? Um, I use a little fake tan called... Tan lip super. Oh, that body. looks so nice. And it just gives you like a really nice olive kind of brown mm. tan skin. I would say you already have kind of like olive skin already though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say so as well. Like just a little bit. Like I don't really need to tan that often. Like I'm even like, natural sun, even like that summer there, you already get a really nice colour. So you don't really need to tan much. But I would say that's really nice because that's like um. Um, a developed tan, isn't uh -huh. it? So, what tan do you nice use? There. Um, Bondi stands. Oh, that's nice. decent, actually. And it I smells like nice as well because it's coconutty. Mm. Um, but I also get this like spray tan, um, and it's like a water, like face tan. It looks kind of like that, like clear, and it uh -huh. develops over time. Oh, nice. Um, but I feel like that's better because it doesn't get in your pores. Is it like a spritz? Yeah, like mm. a spray one, so it's much nicer. Yeah, I love that. I love like a spritz because this is what I love it. I love that. Uh, it has a highlighter as well, isn't it? But I put a little bit of this in it and I just like. Mm. I just mix it up. Right, let me see another question. Okay, so I have a question of my own. Um, how did you meet TP? Because I actually don't think I know this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is such a really weird, like, such a weird story. So basically, I was in London, um, and I was actually meant to be flying to um, Spain, but the night before I had, like, a party, uh -huh. and I was like, oh my god, so unwell. So I missed my flight the next day to Spain, and I was like, right, who's in London? Seeing GP was in London, because he was working there, and then I was like, hi, can I please come to your hotel? Like, I'm not gonna bother you. Like, can I just stay there tonight? Because like, I'm gonna um catch a flight tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, but I'm going out tonight. So like, do you wanna come? And I was like, no. Like, I'm just gonna stay there and like chill out. So I'd get to his like hotel, and I'm like, like spewing in the fucking toilet, and I'm like, the shower's on me. And I'm like, being sick. I hope he doesn't come back. I really hope he doesn't come back. And then, like, but, like he comes back at like, don't know, like, ten, and then like. I just see him and I'm like, oh, wow, he is so hot. Like, yes. I love this guy. Like, I don't even know how he has a, a person. It's so crazy. And then, like, we just stayed up to, like, four in the morning, like, talking. Like, we got along so well, like, and I couldn't stop thinking about him. And, like, yes. ever since, like, I just have, like, I just love him so I much. I know, you can, you can just see it as well. That's oh, what I love. Like, like, that's what I want. He's I want to, soulmate. I know, I want to be with somebody, but everyone around can see that he's there so in love. Do you know what I mean? It's that's so cute. Thing, like, I don't even think we even try, like... No, that's, like, a, that's what... We are just genuine, like, like, yeah. I can't keep my hands off him if he's if he's in the room like I'm on him like I'm sorry like, no way no way somewhere else near him like I'm always like attached to him like it's quite crazy it's so cute though yeah but he's like I'm the same so, with me, so excited for when you're getting married I know yeah it's gonna be so good like, it's gonna be really cute probably wedding. Be the best wedding of my life I know <laughs> I love you actually I think it'll be really sweet because it'll be obviously the first wedding I've ever been to so yeah. well, I actually it? know because I'm going to a wedding like not that face sorry but no i'm going to a wedding on <laughs> christmas eve and it's um it's gp's friend's wedding so it's going to be really oh, that's nice so actually. nice christmas eve to get married so that's that actually good. really nice yeah it's really nice so we'll see how that goes it should be a really lovely day i think mm -hmm. it'll be a lovely wedding so by christmas be. let's hope and Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good day for the future mm -hmm. i'm yeah. actually so excited to see and gp just yeah get married 
That's how I met. No. No, it was weird. And That's weird how I never knew that as well. I don't know how I never knew that, or maybe I just forgot. It's weird though, because like, <laughs> like, when I was like at, working in the hairdresser, I was like, I used to shampoo his hair. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> That's me. To me. Oh my god, no way! That's so weird. That's so funny. That I was know. ages ago as well. Wow. So that's a bit weird. How it's meant to be. <laughs> we like, crossed paths before we even knew each other. Like, that's really strange. That is but so yeah. Cute. So that's all the questions done. Uh -huh. Thank you so much if you've watched all the way through. And I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>